Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this short video, I'll show you how to use Auto Advance to speed up your culling work, your sorting of photos to decide which ones are keepers and which ones are rejects and or to identify your favorites. Let's go to Loop View. To turn on Auto Advance, there are two options. First, you can go to Photo and turn it on here. I won't do that. The other option is to use the Caps Lock key on your keyboard. I like that for two reasons. One, because I can look down at my keyboard and I can see that that's on. Otherwise, there's no indication in Lightroom that Auto Advance is on. Second, you'll see that while I'm culling, I like to keep my hands on the keyboard at all times to speed up my work. With Auto Advance on, if I type P to assign a pick flag, for example, Lightroom automatically jumps to the next image. So I can evaluate that one without having to get my mouse and go click on the second image or use the arrow key or otherwise advance to the next image. Now Auto Advance will work when assigning any information. For example, pick or reject flags, stars, and color labels. Because I want to keep my hands on the keyboard, I use keyboard shortcuts to assign this information. P assigns the pick flag, X the reject flag, not R, that would take you into the crop tool in the develop module, so X, then the numbers 1 through 5 for stars, 6 for red, 7, 8, and 9. There's no keyboard shortcut for purple. So if I type, for example, P for pick, again, I go to the next image with auto advance on. I'll type X to reject this one, X. Now on this one, I'd like to assign a pick flag and two stars. If I assign the pick flag though, Lightroom is gonna jump to the next image. So to assign the first piece of information, my pick flag, I'll hold the shift key down as I type P. That temporarily disables auto advance. That tells Lightroom to hold on for a minute. Now I'll take my finger off the shift key and I'll type two for two stars and it advances. I'll type X, X on this one. Now let's say that I want to assign a pick flag, stars, and a color label. I'll hold the shift key down. I'll type P for pick, two for two stars. I'll keep my finger on the shift key as I type two for two stars. Then with my finger off of shift, I'll type that last piece of information, which is six for red. Now, if you don't want to remember the shortcuts, you can click on the icons here while you're using Auto Advance. To turn Auto Advance off, you can go up to Photo and choose Auto Advance to turn it off, or you can hit the Caps Lock key on your keyboard to turn it off there. So that's it for using Auto Advance. Definitely a handy feature. If as you're culling, you're seeing loading messages as you move from image to image and that's slowing you down, then consider using the embedded previews workflow in Lightroom Classic. With this workflow, Lightroom doesn't build its own previews as you cull. It uses the JPEGs that are embedded in your raw files while you're culling, then you can have Lightroom build its own previews later. The embedded previews workflow video is one of 107 videos in over 24 hours of content in my Lightroom Fundamentals and Beyond video series. If you've enjoyed this video on Auto Advance and you're watching it on YouTube, please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Also, sign up for my email newsletter on laurashu.com to hear about my latest tutorials and Lightroom news as it breaks. I'm Laura Shu.